Okay, so I'm using ChatGPT to make a new Pokemon that I am then going to paint paint 3D or draw. Cosmos is a good name. So this Pokemon Hold on. So how this Pokemon looks. Okay, so, like an ultra piece. Um, I'm using my drawing tablet. And now it's time to do the drawing. So, how about... Something like that. Actually, um... How about eyes like kind of like that? Oh God, no! Oh hell, no, man! What the man? Who invited this guy? Yeah, that's much better for pupils. How about I just go over here, I yoink my eraser tool. Okay, that is a very big radius, why? How about I set it to like that? Um, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. How would I give it like a cloudy, ethereal? It's gonna be like an Ultra Beast, so we're gonna make it not really look like a Pokemon. Maybe it'll be like a kind of like a Ditto. Maybe it could be like a Ditto, but it can transform into any Pokemon in your party. Or I could just have Beast Boost because that's what any other Ultra Beast has. Mm -hmm. yes. I think maybe I'll want it to be like an actual Pokemon. But it'll go in like a Zoroark, so then your enemy doesn't really know. God, there's no layers to this. Oh, damn. Well, that kind of sucks. Is there, like, a different... No, stop it. No, stop it. Well, I mean, I guess I'll just, like, fill in this. I hate the fill tool in this. It makes everything look so pixely. Like pixelated. Wait, hold on, I got a good idea. No! Oh my gosh, this drawing tablet is so hard to use because I don't have a, it's not fully linked up yet. I need to like hook it up to my computer in a proper way that it actually shows the screen on my How about I just dabble some colors? Eh, I can do a little. Um, actually, mm, I got an idea. Hold on. What if my tolerance is lighter? I have no. Oh my. the kids with the pumped up kicks your better room what if I have maximum tolerance okay 
I'm going to set this to zero. What if I set my opacity to... Okay. Redo. So, I'll set the opacity to like 50. Oh, I should have done that for the... Oh, I'm just gonna... Nope, that did not fix anything. Opacity 50% Juice makes your head explode. Oh, I can lower the tolerance and make it like... Oh, yes. I'll just fill in some random colory spots with random colories. It's juice that makes your head explode. I am obsessed with juice that makes your head explode. I'm just gonna shove in a ton of colors. It'll have an ability like Zoroark's, but it'll be like you can switch it in, but then when you switch it in, it'll give you an option to tell to ask you what well, Pokemon would you like this would you like um Cosmonius to transform into? I think that'll be cool. Man, this might take a while. But I mean it's gonna be cool. I think I might make this an Ultra Beast, but just give it like a move. I think I'll want like the eyes. Actually, I got an idea. Juice that makes your head explode. Just gotta add a slight nod to under fart. Gotta add a slight nod to under fart. I think that that looks pretty cool. How about I do some other colors, but just up here, like another purple? Oh my gosh! I keep on messing it up. I need to get like... <sighs> um, I think that that looks really super cool. I can shove some red in there. It looks like an angry boy now. I don't know if I like this, but I'll get another. All right, here, here we are. What was what was his name? Cosmoist. No. Grr. This would be like the thing that would be cosmosis. Um, this boy right here. This boy right here. I'm so bad at drawing arrows. This boy right here is cosmosis. Yay! I would imagine him, like, because it said, it said that it would, like, transform into other Pokemon. Oh my gosh, I accidentally pressed the right click. Keep on accidentally doing it, bro. I'm gonna scream, bro. Alright, I think that that looks pretty cool. I, I, I think that this was, this went well. 
and I think I might turn this into a multi-episode series because I think that'll be really cool. That'll be funny. One that I did in my free time, I think I might be able to access it from here. Or not. Tectonics. This guy. Yeah, right here. This chunky boy. I got this all from Mr. Chat GPT. And I did it based on the what it said, quadrupedal Pokemon. Quadrupedal Pokemon. Four legs. I did the legs spiky right here. And then it has four sturdy legs. Sharp claws. I had to allow it to dig through solid rock. Its head is adjoined with a pair of glowing red eyes. Oh, dang. And it has long horns on its head. When, when tectonics becomes agitated, the molten core within its body becomes more active, causing its horns to and eyes to glow even brighter. So when this, when this, this is the core, and then it has the ability Earth Shaper, so it's like, it's like a sandstorm, but it traps you. This would be an overpowered cap Pokemon cap Pokemon in, um, whatever, Pokemon Showdown, see right here, right here, Wispy Tendrils, me, oh my god, bro, swirling mass of color and some shapes, almost like a kaleidoscope or a cloud of smoke, I tried, I did it mostly on this part, glowing dreamlike eyes, that's what I tried, Seem to change color and shape constantly. Um, I also have like wispy tendrils, or appendages made out of pure energy. So it was thinking like, kind of like an octopus. Fantasy. <laughs> That's a pun. <gasps> Dream Shaper, Mirage, Ludicus, Phantasma, Imaginator. That's a pretty cool name, but like, that's like a word. Juice that makes you well, I think that that's it for this episode of drawing stuff from Chat GPT, mostly Pokemon. But goodbye.